Hello, hello, hello. Today's plan is to do a little drag and drop, expanding the horizons of Edge. So I started out, cheated a little. I already started new composition. I drew a rectangle. Now you could change the names of these to rectangle, but um, you know, I'm kind of being lazy here. And I have rectangle too. So far, that's it. But that's all I gotta do. Not a big deal. Next thing I got to do, I need to go get some scripts. That's what I need, some scripts. So where do I go get them? Well, I'm going to get the jQuery script and jQuery UI or user interface pieces. So I got to go over to the web. Boom! And look, it happens to be there. Yay! I went to jQuery.com. And the first one, since this will show you two ways to add scripts, I'm going to do the CDN or Content Network Delivery. So I click the download and I roll down. There we go. Using jQuery with CDN. I'm going to just copy this part right here in between from the uh, slashes to the quote. I don't really need that quote, so I'm going to delete it once we add it. So I'll be bop over here plus the press plus sign on uh, next to scripts in the library from URL after the double sl slash paste and I'm going to delete that little extra quote mark say okay. The jQuery regular jQuery has to come first before you add anything else. So make sure you do that. Next I'm going to jump over to uh, up here at the top, see that little orange U thing? If I click that, and you can see as I roll over, it's jQuery UI. And they also have a download. Now the thing with them is, is that you can't use the CDN. At least I haven't been able to find it. So I clicked the stable and downloaded over here jQuery UI, the most recent version. Okay, so that's already done. Close that up. Come over here to the plus sign from disk. And there's my jQuery UI. I'm going to pick the minified. It's just compressed. No big deal. And I'm going to open it. And yes. So there we go. And now I've added everything I want. So the only thing left to do is code this puppy up. So I'm going to open my code window. And the first thing I'm going to do is talk to Edge. S-Y-M dot dollar sign, because we're going to do some jQuery shit right now. Open parentheses, double quotes, close parentheses, dot draggable. Okay. Open parentheses, close parentheses, because that's a function and a semicolon. So what am I going to make draggable? Well, I'm going to make the rectangle, not rectangle two, but the one that just says rectangle draggable. So we'll do that. R E C T A N G L E rectangle. And let's test it. Command return. Okay, so I come over here and look at that shit. I can drag that all over the place. Is that awesome or what? Right? Cool, cool. Now, let's make it droppable. Now, you saw I could drop, I, I just let go of my mouse and it stopped moving. Let's make it hit the hit a target and do something. Okay, so how do we write that? Well, it's S Y M dot dollar sign, open parentheses, double quotes, close parentheses, dot, droppable, droppable, open parentheses, drop, colon. Ooh, this is going to be more than one line, so I need a curly brace there too. And it's a function, open parentheses, close parentheses, open curly brace, return, whoa. So now what I'm going to do is if I drop some, something, I drop the rectangle on rectangle 2, which that was, so we're going to have this as rectangle 2. So if I drop something on there, I need something to happen. So all I'm going to do, because I'm kind of lazy, is I'm going to go sym.$ 
open parentheses, double quotes, close parentheses, dot CSS, open parentheses, curly brace, because it's going to be more than one thing, double quotes, full colon, double quotes, close curly brace, close um, parentheses, semicolon. So I'm going to have the rectangle, and I'm going to have the background color, and we're going to make it change colors. I could put a hex code in, or I can put a word. So I'm just going to put the word red, change red. Now the only thing I have left to do here is I still need to close that parentheses and a semicolon. All right, let's see if this puppy works. So command return. And if I drag this over and drop it, holy shit, is that awesome or what? That's how easy it is to do a drag and drop. And that most of the um, jQuery UIs are that simple as well. That's it. We're done. Yay. Thank God, right? Right.